Welcome home, Raiders. Tonight, StarCraft turns 20. Orcs go to a chiropractor, and a new hero is about to enter Overwatch as Convert to Raid presents the Battle.net News. <laughs> The second take is always the best, I think. <laughs> I think that's the way that it should be. Uh, from the Battle.net News broadcast bunker in Minneapolis, Minnesota, today is March 6, 2018, and it is now, what time is it? Damn it, 9.12 in the p.m. Central Time. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us from all around World of Warcraft land and uh, Overwatch world and, well, Blizzard world, really. Yeah, my name is Pat Crane. I'm your host of this uh, already broken show. <laughs> As people laugh at me, and the players are laughing at me, so let's get to them. Uh, first up from Lords of the Storm, a uh, show about Heroes of the Storm. It's Gizmo. Nailed it. I did. I totally nailed it. Uh, nailed gosh. it. The second time around is always best anyway so it is absolutely it's fine all right and also from lagging balls and uh all the other places at battle.net sports she's on she's on that show as well it's this halo <laughs> <laughs> it's already off the rails it doesn't even matter <laughs> so if you ever want to make these guys laugh, all you need to do is just mess up your intro the first time around. It wasn't even that bad. <laughs> but apparently now Thist is crying and laughing. So I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome, the guys in Twitch chat. Uh, welcome, you two uh, uh, buffoons. Not really. You're hey. not buffoons. You're monkeys, maybe. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but welcome everybody to the show. Uh, and we do actually have quite a bit to talk about tonight. Um, uh, but first, before we do that, I just kind of want to go around the room and and see what you guys are up to and and uh, what's happening in your gaming worlds. Uh, and uh, Gizmo, let's start with you. What what's been uh, what's been shaking? Um, well, Pat, yeah. the uh, beginning of this week yeah. started with the usual Heroes of the Storm, mm -hmm. and then I was staring at my Blizzard launcher, and I saw this icon mm. that I hadn't clicked on in a while, so I did, and it was Diablo, and I noticed a new season had started recently, Yep. so I was like, you know what, I'll check it out, why not, and then now it's Tuesday. <laughs> so that that does have a tendency to happen sometimes especially yeah. with diablo i mean you can really get uh just lost in that for a mm -hmm. while so yep three days and i am uh level 70 paragon 328 Holy uh, crap. on torment 10 yeah wow um, wow that those three days are gone i just well spent. that i don't i don't mm -hmm. know if it's well spent but it's definitely no I mean, it wasn't it's definitely spent. <laughs> yes. It, we know exactly are. where you were. You were in front yeah, of your I'm computer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thist, how about you? What have you been uh, doing? Um, I've been doing Seething Shore a yeah. lot. How is a it? A lot. It is the best. I can't wait to talk about it. I, I, I can't stop talking. I can't stop thinking about it. I have dreams about it. It's just, it's so good. It's just so good, Pat. All right. All right, I I played it once and it seemed cool. I mean, it seemed fast, which was good. Yeah, it so, is fast. So I I like that aspect of it for sure. And it's, I know where it's you just, like to go fast. Where it just feels like you're fighting all the time, which is great. There's, I mean, you don't have any of those awkward uh, long pauses like you do in the one with the gates. What's yes, what's, the the one with the gates, of the, course. The one with the, with the gates, and you're trying to sneak through, through the, the gates and then the, ancient ancient yeah. strands. Yeah, that's yes. the one. 
That's all of those ancient strands yes. of gates that you're trying to get through. Or strands it's of not the fast, ancient. it's slow, because yes. there's gates. <laughs> as, as the ancient strands foretold. As you can tell, I'm down with the PvP. Get down with PvP! <laughs> Sorry. Every time I go into a BG, that's in my head. Is it really? Mm. No. Oh, no. Wow. No. No. no, not at all. No, no mm -mm. that was a lie. No. Nope. Try to make you feel. It's good. just. It's this music. <laughs> nope. It's probably not that either. <laughs> All right, uh, a couple of <laughs> a couple of things before we get going. Uh, I want to talk about Minnesota Meetup. We are actually. I won't be there. I'm. I'm going to California the, uh, this weekend. Actually, I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm leaving tomorrow for California. I'll be back. Don't worry about it. Uh, but oh, good. The Minnesota Meetup, they're actually having an Overwatch League viewing party uh, at New Bohemia in Roseville, Minnesota on Saturday from 2 to 6. So if, if you're in the Overwatch League and you're in the, in the Minneapolis area and you, and you want to meet up with other people and watch some Overwatch League, uh, go hang out with Jules, Scott, and uh, the gang over there. There's going to be quite a few people over there. We're... There should be. I know that some people are coming into, into town this weekend, which is why we're having it. So, um, mm -hmm. But Minnesota Meetup this Saturday, March 10th, from uh, 2 to 6 at New Bohemia in Roseville. So there. Um, and uh, Fist. What? I mean, yes? Uh, no, nothing. I mean, it's just... <laughs> I, I know that you like esports. I know that you I like... Do. Overwatch League. I and, do. And I know that you've been watching a lot of AWC lately, which is uh, WoW Arena. I have. And also, you're a big proponent of the MDI, the, the Mythic Dungeon Invitational. Oh, hell yeah. Right. And so, uh, I just wanted to let people know that if you are into that stuff as well, and more, HGC, uh, Hearthstone, those are also uh, covered over on Battle.net Sports, which is the new show. Oh. That's the new, a very good show. It's it's not a bad show. I like the show. And we put out a new episode today uh, talking all about Western Clash and, and AWC and and uh, what else? Oh, Overwatch League? Overwatch League. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And that's on its very own channel now. So you can go grab As it. it should be. Just look for Battle.net Sports and you should find it in your uh, podcast catcher of choice. Or it's, uh, it's also on the site. It's on ConvertTrade.com, yeah. so you can check it out there. It's too. real good, real good. Right. Is it a catcher or a pitcher since it's delivering it to you? What's the difference? What are you talking about? I don't. Is this, is a <laughs> this is a trap. This is a trap. It's a trap. Don't pay any attention to him, please. <laughs> Uh, the show started off poorly, it, uh, and it's, it's just picture, right? going downhill from here. Uh, so let's bring it back and do the uh, Convert to Raid Top 10. Ah, uh, yes, the Convert to Raid Top 10. Um, now, this week... Oh, and I need the music. I always forget the music. I don't know why. Uh, so this week is going to be the top 10 little-known facts about Brigitte Lindholm. Uh, as you know, last week, uh, right after the show was published, they announced Brigitte on uh, Overwatch as the new hero, as Hero 27. Uh, so, thought we'd get... Before we get actually talk about Brigitte, before we actually talk about what she actually does and all that kind of stuff, Let's talk about little-known facts about her, so let's do that. All right, uh, number 10. Built first jetpack cat at eight years old. Cat has not been seen since. <laughs> All right. That's uh, sad, though. It's sad. It is. Uh, number nine. Every time she moves to a new apartment, she flat packs her own furniture. It's true. Uh, number eight. Her shield barrier comes with a light on it to protect against seasonal affective disorder. You know, she's from Sweden. It's very dark there. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Just saying. <laughs> it's very, very dark. <laughs> <You need that. laughs> right. 
So, number seven, favorite food. Meatballs with lingonberries and a dash of kicking butt. Is kicking butt spicy? I imagine it would be. Uh, yes. Uh, it, I mean, for Swedes, it's spicy. For, I, I think in the U.S., it would be like milk. Right. You know, milk it's is spicy there, so. Spicy. All right, number six, <laughs> little known facts about Brigitte Lindholm. Uh, her rocket flail goes back and forth to the beat of Waterloo by ABBA. I love that song. Waterloo. Yep. Keep singing. Nope, not going to do it. All right, number five. Once dated Genji and Hanzo's little brother, Wat Shimada. And then the follow-up what? is Wat Shimada with you. Oh. Wat Shimada you. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old vaudeville oh. joke. <laughs> oh, oh sorry. God. Anyway, uh, number four favorite hobbies include skiing, yeah, skating, yep, yeah, and wrestling reindeer. Got to do Is something. Is that not illegal? Not in Sweden. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. That's the Canadian thing. I'm not. Right. All right. Uh, number three. The most potent thing about her shield bash is that it smells like fermented herring. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's Swedish. Ew. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, number two, a little known fact about Brigitte Lindholm. When she's not fighting to make the world a better place, she works part-time in customer service at Ikea. You just had to include the Ikea joke. I did. You? Is Ikea Swedish? Uh, yes. Yes, mm. it is. All right. It's all Swedish jokes here. This is coming from a Norwegian. Oh, so, so you can say this stuff, but we can't. No, I don't think even I can, because I'm not Swedish. There's a big rivalry. Oh. Anyway. What are you? Norwegian. Huh. Yeah. Uh, Ah. <laughs> Okay, the number one little-known fact about Brigitte Lindholm. Her name is actually pronounced Bridget. That's not true. Of course it's not true. <laughs> is it? Didn't, didn't John pronounce it Bridget last yeah, week? Well, that was before it was actually announced, right? So we didn't know. I, I think... That when they saw that stuff, it wasn't necessarily that uh, because there was a there was a picture that, that was released or something like that. And it yeah. said, I'm not sure if it said Bridget or I'm not sure what the, what the title it was. Had but the, it, it had, had the spelling. Was it the spelling? So, yeah, but it was like, well, how is it? It was B-R-I-G. It, it wasn't spelt like Bridget, but that's sure. obviously right. what comes to mind when you see it. Right. Because that's the uh, that's the U.S. equivalent. Mm -hmm. So I'm rhyming hard. Danger. And Torbjorn's U.S. equivalent is Tony. Oh, I thought you were going to say Toblerone. <laughs> it's chocolate. Right. Yeah, it is chocolate. Right. Uh, Hard mark pays off. Toblerone. Uh, all right. We're going on to the news. Yes. Uh, so just want to mention this really quick. I don't think we need to really talk about it too much because I'm sure that we already are aware of this. But uh, Fortune Magazine came out with a little magazine, because that's what they do, uh, with 100 best companies to work for. And guess who was on there? It was Blizzard. Yeah! First. And I, this is the not the first time. Ago. This is not the first time that we've seen this either. So is it four years in a row? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, Just saying. Right. It's uh, we we note it every year, it seems. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's good. That's good. All right. So uh, nothing really to say there. So let's move on to World of Warcraft. A clever strategy. Yes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Mythic Dungeon Invitational. We were just talking about this. This. You were. Well, at the top of the show. Right. Right. Uh, so Mythic Dungeon Invitational. If you want to get qualified, this is your last week to do it. Right. So what what do uh this what do people need to do? Um so this is the last week players have to complete a total of 5 plus 23 keystones on time uh within the same time within the same team in order to qualify for the next stage of the MDI. Um so uh Raider IO has this like nifty mythic dungeon invitational page and a new alert that will announce when teams have progressed past the proving grounds qualification rounds. 
So I'm super stoked with that. I'm so thankful for Raider IO. Like they just, you know, I think they're as hype about this as I am, obviously. And it just, it makes uh, all of the information so much more accessible and easier to digest, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. yep. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm wicked stoked, you guys. Like this is, this is my favorite esport. And I watch esports constantly. Like I'm watching Overwatch League almost every day of the week. And then I watch Arena all weekend, but they ain't got nothing on the MDI. Right. And I actually hear that quite a bit from from a lot of people, especially those guys that that are, you know, especially in C in the CTR guild, because uh, we have a lot of raiders over there. And they're all about, you know, PvE and making sure that uh, the you know, they're all hype about making sure that this content uh, remains uh, popular. They want to see it grow. So, um, yes. and, and, you know, I know a lot of people are clearing these dungeons at this level. So uh, now it's just kind of doing it for time and getting qualified for, for the, uh, for the event. And we don't know much beyond this as far as what the, when the next phase is, right? Right. So, you have to qualify first and then we go to the next level and the next level is actually doing like uh, uh is it a, like a placement round is that what it yep. is so um so that will be sometime in the near future i'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> all right uh next up we have a couple of new models that hit the uh ptr for actually sorry the alpha for battle for azeroth uh we Last week, we made fun of the Zandalari uh, druid form for balance, which really, I'm still not convinced that it's actually going to go live like that, but I dig it. It makes me not want to play a Zandalari <laughs> balance druid. That's for sure. Well, nobody's asking you to. Right. Nobody is. You're you're absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> the bear the bear form looks awesome though, and they just yeah. came out, uh, they just data mined the the cat form this week. Again, it looks awesome. I think it does. Yes. Uh, it so, look like a cat. Yeah. So Pat, can yeah. we be horde for Battle for Hazor? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you can. See now, no, I don't think we can. We can't move <laughs> all ten guilds or whatever. Um, but uh, Gizmo, why don't you describe it a little bit? Because I don't actually have the the picture of it. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I, I've literally been sitting here while you were doing that top ten list, staring at this, thinking of how to describe it. Yeah. And uh, it's difficult. It's like a, uh, uh, like a lizard, yeah. but with longer legs. So it's kind of standing up more like a dog, mixed with a saber toothed tiger. Yeah. It's All like, right. You know. Stones. It's like a Komodo dragon, uh, but kind of with an iguana. It's an iguana dog. Yeah, iguana dog. Okay. It's like oh. a Juana man, you know? <laughs> That's a dinosaur. <laughs> sure, sure, we'll go with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's actually pretty cool, and it uh, you know has large uh, tusks and you know stuff like that, and it looks really cool. Lots of spikes. Um, looks awesome. I'm, I feel like people who love dinosaurs will really love this because it looks I, like a dinosaur. I think people who love dinosaurs will really love Battle for Azeroth, like just so in too. general, because we saw a new mount that's a that's a new uh, dino mount uh, as oh, well. Oh, the, the Brontosaurus Rex, you know? Well, that one. It wasn't that one. It was. Uh, well, I th I think there are multiple, so I think there will be many. Uh, you, there will be tons of new dinosaur uh, pets for hunters and all that kind of stuff. It's like that movie Land Before Time. Uh, <laughs> you know, the one? Right. Uh -huh. Or, or Jurassic World or any other movie with a lot no, of dinosaurs in it. Not like that at all. <laughs> I just, I'm, I really want to see something cool for Alliance because so far they're, in my opinion, getting blown out of the water yeah. with That's their okay. Alliance races. Yep, and I'm calling it now that druids, uh, horde druids, will be the largest player base for next next expansion, at least at launch. Um, so yeah, well, I I think you're right because I mean at launch there are no new druid, uh, no new druids at all for alliance. I mean the the two allied races don't have any druid forms in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't see why iron dwarves would. Uh, but for 
for Battle for Azeroth, you have Zandalari uh, druids, and then you have the High Mountain druids as well. So you can be mm -hmm. a moose druid or a dino druid, and you get That's all new very forms. Good option. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's um, as a, as a druid player, I I'm kind of remiss, perhaps. Really <laughs> interesting. I'm a little, I'm maybe a little miffed even. If if you could pick yeah. uh, an allied race of your choice for the alliance to have sweet new Ooh. druid forms, what yeah. would it be? Uh, the the um the. What are they? The Vulpari or whatever they are. Whatever. Oh, they are. yeah, yeah. The, the mm. little fox guys. I think those guys one. would be great because they would be druids. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, they would have a druid uh, class. So. Well, there, once, they're already like, a woodland creature. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> I want to play a Pandaren druid. Mm -hmm. And for bear form, they literally just go. <laughs> and they get on all fours. There that you go. That would be adorable. I'd be and cool with that. For our audio only uh, audience, just go watch the video. It's not all that yeah, fantastic. Make up it's, it's fine. <laughs> but you could, you know. Like up. Right. There, there it is. Right. Panda hitting the ground. <laughs> Panda hitting the ground. That's a. <laughs> That's theater of the mind, you guys. We're artists now. Yep. I guess. Uh, the other thing that we saw for BFA was the upright uh, orc. So the the orcs that are now where their back is fixed, they don't. Have, I do love an erect orc. They don't have an. Uh, they don't have a humpy back. They're not all humpy. That's right. Right. They've cleaned up their uh, act a little bit. That was two innuendo jokes back to back. Mm hmm. Right. That was good. We got this. That's not. That's not. <laughs> so are all orcs getting this? No, no, no. So I, I think it's going to be certain type. It's going to be an alternate form. It's like a cosmetic thing, isn't it? Yeah, like you like uh, you can go get your appearance changed, and uh, you can go to the chiropractor and just, chiropractor. Yep, get, just get I got one of those out. recently. It was very nice. My body made sounds that I didn't realize was, that it could. Was your back all humpy? Yeah, <laughs> and now I'm completely erect, Pat. Awesome, that's great. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, that's great. Like constantly. Nice. Uh, and I know that they're, I, so I know going, getting back to uh, battle for Azeroth, I know that they're actually working on a bunch of different things. We've seen a bunch of different spell changes. We've seen a bunch of different talent changes. We've seen a bunch of different, uh, new items appearing and changing their, whatever they do. And, and if you're looking at like an MMO champion or a wow head, and you are trying to keep up to date as far as what's happening on the alpha, my advice to you is don't. It's not worth it at this point. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> they are changing stuff all the time. They are what they call it is they call it iterating. What I call it is playing. They're just monkeying around, trying to gum up the works and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Ew, and, that sounds gross. Yeah. I just it's, hate spoilers. I don't understand why people want to see everything before it happens. I hate that. Well, I don't want to know. I don't, I don't like, get excited about anything in my life anymore, Pat, except this. <laughs> I don't Why? mind seeing how my class plays or something like that. I don't necessarily want to see a ton of story because I know that I'm going to have to play it again. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. going to I'm going to have to go through it again uh, and again and again. So I kind of want to yeah. leave it unspoiled as as much as possible. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it it's kind of a weird thing on Alpha, and if you have access to it, I, I'm sure that you're finding out that. It's broken in places and, it is. you know, yeah. right. It's broken all over the place. Yes. That's fine. It's all is good. It? Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. It's I'm, fine. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Glad we had this talk. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, anything else on, on, the, on the alpha that you guys wanted to talk about? Was there anything that you saw in the news that you were like, oh, my God, we got to talk about this? Because... Uh, then we should get back into the regular part of the game a little bit. Last yeah. week, uh, we actually saw the Seething uh, Shore Battleground kickoff with a with a week of yeah, it was in the brawl and everybody was having fun with it. And uh, Thist, I know that you were playing a lot of it. You said so at the top of the show. And I also saw that you posted something on Twitter where um, your parachute didn't open. Oh or my something. god. How embarrassing. What happened? 
Um, so uh, at the beginning of the BG, you're on like an airship mm-hmm. and you jump off and you're going down to the seething shore, which is on the shore of uh, Feralis. Just like and PUBG. It's, it's the WoW version of PUBG. Sure. Sure. Let's go with that. Yeah. So, um, so you've got this extra action button when you're like halfway through the air that you can use to propel yourself forward. Um, so like if you look on your map and like for this BG, your map is your best friend because these nodes, there's going to be three at all times and they're going to come up and you want to be there as fast as possible. So like it, there's a little bit of RNG at the, at the beginning, like uh, depending on like where your ship is compared to where the Alliance ship is and where the nodes happen to be. Like you kind of want to like get a sense of like where you're going to go. You can see everybody on your map and you want to try to get, stay spread out so you can cover as much as right deposits as possible. So anyway, um, you can boost yourself or you don't, depending on where you are. And when you're halfway down to the ground, your parachute should pop open. So you should be fine. Sure. Mine didn't that one time. That was great. <laughs> uh, that was right in the middle of a match. It wasn't like the first parachute jump. It was like the eighth or something. But, uh, you know, that happens. So be careful, I guess. Um, if you're a mage or something that can blink for the time being, you can blink out of your parachute. That's like a handy tip just to like go faster. That you, that you learned after your parachute didn't open? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, uh, that's cool. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a ten v ten BG, and uh, you basically have to uh, collect fifteen hundred things of azurite, and each deposit it counts for a hundred. So I just want to just want to express how genius I think this map is because you know the. The traditional BGs, like, you know, the problems with fighting on the roads and, yep. you know, not paying attention to mechanics and stuff like that. This map, like, if you're at least even a little bit smart, uh, you know, which isn't always the, the case, but you know, especially with Alliance, but <clears throat> um, you can't fight on the roads. You got to fight on the nodes. Yeah, it's a, it's a rhyme. Oh, I got it. Um, I got it. Yeah, yeah, you got I it. Got, got it. it. So it's like. Pretty good saying. Because one one person can take away this node. One person can get this node. It doesn't it doesn't take a bunch of people. It takes one person. If nobody's around, you can farm that thing. So like you don't want to spend time fighting on the roads and trying to prove a point and all this other stuff. You want to be on the nodes. If you're not farming the node, you're guarding the node so somebody else can do it. You're trying to interrupt people for from interrupting people trying to farm your node. Or right. you're jumping on nodes that have tons of enemies. Trying to interrupt them, waiting for more friends it's, to come over and get it for you. It's interesting, though, because the nodes are actually uh, placed fairly close together. So, I mean, if you're a ranged DPS or whatever, you can you could probably stand between a couple of different uh, node areas and and try to, you know, play that game. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes uh, it it's like where the nodes come up is always the same, but they're they're always random. Right. So like the three will be random. So like some are like completely across the map. But that's why I say that. Like your map is your best friend in this because you need to be on top of like where all the nodes are. You need to see where all your friends are and try to like go where nobody else is. Because sometimes, and I'm going to tell you, the best feeling in the world is ninjaing a node by yourself when nobody's w- watching. And, like nobody knows. You just you just take it. That's a hundred azurite. Right. That's a hundred. Yeah. That counts so much. Hundy. Um. Right. <laughs> a hundred. So yes. A hundred. <laughs> um, <laughs> So this it's just cool because like this makes defense just as important as offense, um, you know, because like in a regular BG, like if you're you're guarding a flag, you know, you could just be standing there guarding it and everything's fine. And then all of a sudden all these people come and they take it. But that's OK because you just take it back and blah, it's probably, blah, blah. It's probably mines that you're talking about. You're probably talking about mines. Well, yeah. I'm just saying like guarding the flag at mines is always like the easiest thing. The other team always leaves you alone until they don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. But uh, but this makes defense important because you're you're literally like preventing the alliance or whoever you're fighting against from taking what you need to succeed in this map. It it's not something that you can take back. It's like it's dire. You need to do right. it. So it's just it just it's a fast map. It's a small map. It's exciting. Um, there's some RNG involved. Um, uh, but I really really hope that everybody tries it out because it's, it's it's a game changer. It's fun. It's a good time. And it's fun. Yeah. It's a good time. And and now it's in the random uh BGQ. So yes. go for it. It's yes. just in the it's in the randos now. Do it. So just yeah. Just 
Just do it. Just uh, do it. Another thing that is uh, happening right now is Trial of Style, right? Yes. And uh, Fist, I know that you're very excited about this. I am. Why are you it's so excited about Trial of Style? Because I have a lot of transmog, and showing off my transmog makes me feel good about myself as a person. Where I don't feel that good about myself IRL, I can feel good about myself in game, you know? <laughs> sure. But, uh, <laughs> sure. All right. So it's back. It's from March uh, 5th to 9th, and there's a few changes uh, this year. Because, you know, the one happened last year. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we've got um, somebody who sells shirts and tabards in the instance. So, like, the first time around, if you wanted to do, like, Faction Pride and you forgot your tabard, then what? You're going to dress in red? Like, you're going to look stupid. Uh, so everybody would say, like, don't forget your tabard, bring your tabard, bring your shirts or whatever. So now there's somebody actually selling, like, tabards and shirts in the instance. There's also props this year that you can buy with the Trial of Style tokens that oh. sort of like highlight your look, your ensemble yeah. on the stage. Um, you can get like flames, fire, uh, spotlights, nice. and like uh, a chunk of dance floor that looks like the same kind of dance floor that the uh, auction house oh, dance yep. party. Yep. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, you get uh, every time you win, you get like a ton of tokens. You can get first, second, third place. You can get like a you participated sort of bundle of tokens, but uh, ultimately you can buy, uh, there's two sets, like two appearance sets that you can get now. Mm -hmm. Last year there was just one. Now there's a new one. So there's two total for like each uh, specialization. So cloth, mail, leather, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I, I suggest trying it. Like even if you have only one look, like, like the me. point of... Yeah, exactly. Where I look like a hobo, like, and that's it. <laughs> I just, I just, um, it's hobo esque now because I'm actually. Well, th my druid is actually now wearing pants from time to what time. What made made you put pants on finally? I don't know. It was just it was on a whim. That's so unlike <laughs> real life. <laughs> it's winter, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I get it. I so, get it. It's the, but yeah, try it's it the out. Winter um, look. <laughs> You can uh, uh, sorry. you can sign up for the instance uh, <laughs> at any of your uh, friendly neighborhood transmog huts, mm -hmm. and it's just it's just fun, you know, and inconsequential. Just do it, it's fun. Right. Uh, an another thing that we saw uh, this week, actually, uh, or not necessarily this week, but as we lead up to, okay, so I'm going to take you back. Actually, I'm going to go back before we go forward. Uh, so back at BlizzCon, we got the announcement of classic servers and everybody was like yay that's gonna be so great i mean you know not everybody was like that but i think everybody was kind of like oh that that's cool that's that sounds like a good uh way to to help out all those guys that were on classic servers or whatever um and apparently no apparently those guys still want their classic servers and they want them them now so like elysium slash whatever it is is lights hope yeah, I mean it's it's coming back, right? Right, Gizmo. Yeah, so they apparently just announced a new server uh, <laughs> at the end of February, right. which uh, there's another one out there, Kronos, who's getting ready to launch their third server, I guess. Uh, so I don't know if just changing their name makes it where they can bring one back up until Blizzard tells them to take it down again. But I, I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe right. it's they are so excited and they can't wait because it's going to be a ways off or they're worried that it's not going to be what they want. So they're just trying to get ahead of the game again to prove a point of what they want. Who knows? But uh, they are taking yeah. off again. I think they're just trying to play their game and they realized uh, because what, when they announced it at BlizzCon, when they announced that they were that classic servers were coming back and all that kind of stuff, basically they had just discovered that they could do it. Mm hmm. They had just said, you know what, we can do it, so why don't we start working on it? Because it was like they sent one guy home for a couple of weeks and said, hey, can you make this, can you make a little spark happen here? Can you make it breathe on our current servers? And these, the guy went, yeah, all right. So a couple of weeks went, couple of weeks, couple of weeks went by. Steve, Dave, oh, I, I, can't, Steve. I can't remember which Steve one. Dave? It was either Craig. Steve or Dave. Or Craig, oh, I'm Steve and uh, <laughs> and one of those guys went home. They fired it up, and they went. You know what? This this might actually work. Maybe 
So then they said, okay, let's let's make it work. You know what? And then BlizzCon happened. I hope Blizzard like shuts down those pirating jerks. Well, well they've done it before. And I hope they do it again. They, and I hope that like Classic they, WoW just like obliterates them completely. And I hope that they go ahead and crawl what? into bed every night and cry about how awful they are. Wow. That, yes. sounds, that sounds a little extreme, but uh, is it? <laughs> but I, but they should the the Blizzard lawyers should be in touch with them because it's stealing, it's stealing property. It's stealing property. It's stealing IP. It's property guys, it's uh, ridiculous. Can't do that. So, so especially after you've already gotten a you know a cease and desist. Exactly. Right, and especially after you went to Blizzard HQ and talked to them about it. Your cover's blown, dude. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Like Your cover's you blown. Liz, uh, if you, you want to hire me to personally go to wherever the hell they're from, yeah. Jerkland, Jerkland, Jerkton, uh -huh. I will go there and I will very politely ask them to stop because I'm Canadian. And <laughs> right. then if and they don't, I'll threaten them with a good time. I will threaten them <laughs> with apologies because that's yeah. also very Canadian. Okay. You don't want to make me upset because I look uh, terrible. <laughs> my makeup everywhere it's gross like i get like the snot bubble Ooh. and the mouth bubble the same yeah. you know like it's yeah. mixed yeah it's yeah. really bad no it's yeah. that's not good that doesn't sound good yeah take that all right all right so my guess is that the lawyers are hearing the show and they're saying oh well now we now we gotta move on this stuff yep. so be expecting this for next week's show <laughs> yeah <laughs> more, more to come soon uh let's move on to believe it or not Let's move on to StarCraft. I can dig that. Yes. Uh, so I just would like to say that uh, StarCraft is actually celebrating 20 years of the Big Lebowski. Yeah! So congratulations, StarCraft. StarCraft and the Big Lebowski came out at the same time. Can oh, you believe it? I didn't get that. No, Big Lebowski's 20. I'm almost 20. The dude abides. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> what? Uh, it was actually, so it was, it's actually this month. So, uh, Starcraft was released on March 31st, 1998. Oh my gosh. That was so long ago. <laughs> what were you doing in 1998? I was 1998. I was seven. I was, uh, I was working in radio. Back then. Oh, I know what you were doing. Right. And, and if you want to hear some good radio stories, uh, go, uh, listen to, uh, when I was on lagging balls recently, yeah. uh, this last week, actually, yeah. So radio stories, quote unquote, <laughs> radio. <laughs> well, I, I was working in radio unquote. during when and when. Uh, anyway, yeah, they're With good legions stories. Legions and legions of strippers. They're they're not bad. They're not bad stories. Okay, so, <laughs> but we've got because to celebrate the twenty years of StarCraft, uh, Gizmo. We've got a bunch of stuff going on in all of the other games. We've got a, like the crossover stuff. The synergy stuff is happening, right? Yes. What's happening? Um, yeah, so I actually I wasn't even aware of this except for I was playing Diablo and I logged in and saw the anniversary thing pop up. Mm -hmm. uh, and I got a nice little thing in there. But yes, there's crossover for all games. Uh, for StarCraft 2, if you log in between March 6th and April 3rd, uh, you'll receive a special UI skins for each race, a portrait, and a decal. Mm -hmm. For Diablo 3, you get a monstrous Dominion's Revenge, uh, which is a little pet. It's like a battle cruiser pet that follows you around to get your gold. Cool. Uh, in Overwatch, you'll get the Sarah Kerrigan Ghost skin for which Widowmaker. I, which I got today, which was re actually really cool. It's, it's pretty It neat. is cool? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like it. I've been rocking my Genji Florida Mayhem skin, even though uh, I'm awful at Genji. Nice. Genji? Nice. Yep, McGinji. Well, uh, it <laughs> kind of makes sense if you're rocking Florida. Sorry, that's a. I don't mean to slam those guys. It, you know, if you're if you're feeling like you're. Never mind. Go ahead. Hey, you know Anyways, what? Continue. That team has the most swag. They do. And they are the they funnest do. group of guys. They are. They're having fun. a good time. They are they're fun. They're not a winning a lot, but they are having fun. <laughs> anyway, continue with your story. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, in Heroes of the Storm, between yeah. March 27th and April 7th, you'll receive three original StarCraft-themed portraits for Protoss, Terran, and Zerg. Uh, and then, potentially, it's rumored that our next hero that we may hear about, 
And hopefully next week, mm-hmm. maybe StarCraft. And we might get a StarCraft-themed um, brawl as well. Oh, cool. So, cool. awesome. kind of fingers crossed for that. Nice. Uh, in Hearthstone, you will get a special StarCraft Tavern Brawl during the week of March 21st through the 25th. If you play this Tavern Brawl, you will secure three packs from the most recent expansion, Kobolds and Catacombs. And then finally, in World of Warcraft, between March 31st and April 6th, uh, there will be multiple StarCraft companion pets. A Zergling, a Grunty, a Mini Thor, a Baneling, a Zeradar, strolling around in WoW. Uh, yep. Simply slash salute one mm-hmm. of these pets, yep. and you'll get a feat of strength. There you go. I can't wait for that. That sounds adorable. <laughs> So we've got stuff having, happening essentially for the next month. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, and in, in, in all the different games, which is a- actually pretty cool. So I dig it for sure. It's always, it's always nice when they celebrate like this. And we get I know. A, I love it. We get a it's bunch like of, celebrating Blizzard as a whole. Right. All the games God, like this. You, you, know? you said celebrating Blizzard and I just went right back to the map of Blizzard World in Overwatch. And I'm just like, oh. Why isn't it such real? A, Why can I live such there? Such a cool map. Such a cool map. You know it's a celebration of Blizzard. Um, here is the storm, and you should play more. They I themselves should. call it BlizzCon the game. So everyone should play more. That's actually true. It's, it's not. It's well, I don't know if it's BlizzCon the game because you don't have the you don't have the uh, Hilton Bar in there. Yeah, I usually remember all of my games, so it's a little off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk a little bit of uh, Overwatch. Now we're cooking with gas. Yes, uh, as we said in the uh, in the top ten, Brigitte Lindholm. Uh, she is now a the latest hero in Overwatch, and I will just say this: yeah! I didn't actually say anything, but the audience doesn't lie. I dig it. Um, have you guys been on the Overwatch PTR at all? Or have you yes. seen what she does? Uh, Fist, why don't you describe uh, some of the things that she does? Um, she's kind of like a paladin. I mean, yeah. I guess she is a paladin, you know? Right. I, um, very much so, I think. She's got a shield, and she can protect you and herself, and she can heal, and she can uh, stun like mm-hmm. McCree, and she can boop, kind of, like Lucio, and... She's got like a like a mass sort of heal going around and, and AOEing and stuff, and she's got this like cool shield slam that you know just like right you know like punches you in the face except the whole body at the same time. It's actually pretty cool. So she's got her her rocket flail right, which she can not only uh, she can she can kind of swing it around, kind of like Reinhardt does with his hammer, uh, but then she can also like punch you with it and knock you yeah. back. Um, and it actually. Uh, you can do this from pretty far away. It's it's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, she's she's not super ranged. Like she's still gonna get taken out pretty easily by a well placed junk rat or a pharaoh or widow or whatever. But right, you know, she's 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 got the power to take out tracer in one hit. Like she's she's gonna she's gonna be wreaking havoc on all the squishy sort of like backliners who everybody hates who bothers everyone like Brigitte is going to come in and just stun them and boop them off of cliffs or completely like smack them in the face with her flail or shield slam them into oblivion. Right. And I am all for that. That's going to be good for me. Yep. So is she, cl- what's she classified as support? support. So okay. she, so she is definitely support. She does have a shield. It's a small shield. Um, and it's mainly for herself. Although mm-hmm. I guess you could get behind it if you really want to. Yeah. Um, but the shield slam is, is just a short melee range, uh, type of thing. She's got her, like we were talking about the rocket flail already. Her, uh, her ultimate is basically just making sure that she can move faster and that everybody around her gets armor. Yes. And she can throw armor like Zenyatta can throw healing orbs. Like Torbius. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, there you go. There you go. Yep. There you go. She doesn't do that though. She she puts armor on people, whereas Torbjorn throws it on the floor. Yeah, because he's a he dude. Does. He doesn't he doesn't care if he if he's messy, whatever. Mm-hmm. No, nope. so he's a- <laughs> so yeah. So I mean, really really cool. I I wonder how this is going to change the meta. Oh, it's going to change everything. 
because it is, I mean, it's a really, she's a strong support, but also has some really cool other abilities that, that kind of make her, I, like, I think that she's going to need to be played a lot. Yep. Like, like on every map, people are just going to be picking her no matter. I mean, yes, they will because she's new. And on, yeah. and on the PTR, it's impossible to actually play her because. Yeah, you have to go into the arcade. Yeah. So. Doing the limits. And yeah. then everybody is her. Right. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun the first couple of times, but then, you know, it doesn't get that fun. But then you're, and, like, then you're like, I could play something else and kill everybody. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. She no longer counters Tracer. What? They, in the PTR and the fixes, they made uh, some changes, some delays and stuff after Shield Bash where that combo doesn't work on Tracer anymore. That's unfortunate. You know what? It seems People are upset. You know? But that is kind of not fair. Like, I don't think anybody should get one shot unless it's an alt, really. But what do I know? Just or or unless way. it's like a skill shot, like a, like a Hanzo or a... Or a widow, or something like that. Must be by Hanzo. A little head, uh, headshot, you know, from one of those guys. Yeah, yeah McCree. That, that, that makes sense too. So, because that requires a lot of skill. Mm -hmm. Scatter arrow does not. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah you, it does. You got to aim it at the feet. You know, not too close, but not too are you, far. Are you talking behind. in Heroes of the Storm? Heroes of the Storm, maybe. No, Heroes of the Storm. The scatter shot's scatter shot. awful. I hate it. <laughs> it's it's right. actually pretty good now, but I still hate it. <laughs> just because you refuse to like it i i refuse to like it sorry right um kent eric hagman i will never like hanzo even though he may be all right all right <laughs> all right at least well, you can admit it well um speaking of which uh now speaking of heroes that we don't like to play or the ones that we do like to play <laughs> uh jeff from the overwatch team he actually uh jeff Oh, Jeff. Jeff. Sounds familiar. From the Overwatch team. Yep. I watched the a lot guy of... the Dino Flask videos? Yeah. I was going to say, I watch oh, a lot okay. of Dino Flask, and I see him there yeah. all the time. So, uh, yeah. he. Uh, there was a list compiled of the top 10 most played heroes for each skill tier as of the start of Season 9, and that's March 1st. So, as of March 1st, here are the top 10 most played heroes for each uh, skill tier, and... I don't know if I know that you guys are kind of looking over this stuff a little bit. Do you notice anything that is there that shouldn't be there or that isn't there that should be there? You know, like are there heroes that are played too much or played too little in any of these tiers as far as you can tell? Uh Fist? Um I mean I see Diva in every single tier. Yeah. Um I can agree with that. Uh with her most recent changes, uh, I think that she's sort of found her place among all of the heroes in, in each comp. It it kind of forced everybody to sort of like rethink D.Va less as like, I'm going to sit on the payload and be a tank. And more as like, I am a tank who can also be very aggressive and go into the back line if needed. And, you know, be completely forward and aggressive and, and take off at a moment's notice and sort of utilize... Um, all of the mobility that this this hero has, um, so it makes sense. Um, she's you know she's going to kill opponents, but she's not going to die right away, and I feel like that's invaluable in most comps. Right. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Moira, a lot of Mercy, still uh, Soldier. Also, uh, Soldiers, uh, you see them a lot uh, at the lower tiers, um, mm -hmm. but not as a part of like the top ten heroes after gold. Um, right. And, and, uh, one of the things that I noticed was that Winston is only played in the, in the, well, and this is top, top 10. So w we know that these heroes are being played. It's just, it, it may be more situational or, or whatever. So what we're not seeing is we're not seeing a lot of Winston in the lower tiers. Whereas, I mean, in Overwatch League, I don't think that there's a match that I haven't seen a Winston really pop up some, yeah. at some point, you know? He He's just one of those uh, heroes. I think that's hard, really hard to play well. Um, so you got to get in the, the higher skill caps for him to be. I will agree with that. Efficient. Um, what I find interesting, and everyone pay attention to this, the top two for Grandmaster are Torbjorn and Bastion. So <laughs> everyone out there should start playing them. 
Should they? Sure. It's, <laughs> no, uh, Torbjorn and Bastion not on the list not at all list. in any the of list. them. Mm-mm. No. Uh, Is that a ruse, Gizmo? <laughs> kind of trick people that's not nice yeah maybe although I, you know in every quick match that i uh that i play damn if there isn't one of those guys just sure. yeah. just like you know what i'm gonna this time i'm gonna make it work guys i'm gonna make it work i'm gonna get on a turret and just stay on the turret it's i either, am a good attack it's either that or i'm going for uh for a second sniper or a third one <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, we need all of them on the same team. As soon as I see, yeah. th- as, as soon as I see that, I'm like, man, I would quit this game if it didn't penalize you at some point. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Widowmakers in every game on both sides now because everyone sees Overwatch League and thinks, oh, I can be a yeah. sweet, awesome master no, sniper now. No, it's because now. of the skins. I'm telling you, it's because of the, <laughs> the sweet uh, widow skins, especially now with the now with the uh, uh, which call it. The new skin from StarCraft. Yeah. You know what Fair I heard enough. today? I heard a rumor at work today that they made Widow's butt smaller. Is hmm. that true? Because if it is, I'm quitting and uninstalling. I, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'd never do that. I don't know. I would be really upset, though. They're I, like, this, did you notice this? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, oh, we're but, sorry. But now everybody's, like, now everybody's going to be looking at Widow butt for yeah. and I a said, while. If it was soldier's butt, I would have noticed. But Widow, not so much. There and not go. just because I play a lot of soldier, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I, I got Picking gotcha. up what you're putting down. All right. Yeah, All right. thank you. Thank you, guys. Cool. But it was, it was kind of neat uh, to see uh, what the top 10 list was for each of those different uh, tiers. And and uh, you guys can check it out as well. And, and I, don't, I don't think that there were any real surprises there. It's just... The Winston thing kind of threw me a little bit. I don't know. Everybody wants to do Winston because XQC is the best Winston. And if one team has a Winston, then the other team kind of also has to have a Winston. When he's eligible for play. Right? Listen. (laughs) XQC is a nice Canadian boy, okay? He just has (laughs) trouble... Filtering himself. That's all. Uh, the show's getting broken again. All right. Uh, we should go into a little bit of Hearthstone. Well met. There we go. Uh, so Hearthstone has a couple of different things going on with it. Um, first of all, they were supposed to do a, a uh, thing about uh, Year of the Raven, and, th- and then they had to like cancel it because they had some issues going on in the in the uh, uh, on the back end. I think we'll say it that way back end yep yep <laughs> so they had to fix some stuff and then they went uh maybe we shouldn't do the uh live stream of year of the raven so that i'm sure that we'll see that soon uh we did actually see an announcement from chris zierhut who's the lead systems designer over at uh over at hearthstone talking about arena and i didn't know about these changes uh until after i had played a couple of arena matches and i was getting uh kind of kind of well let's just say miffed I was getting a little PO'd, if you know what I mean. You're getting cheesed off? I was getting cheesed off. I don't know. Is that angry? I don't know. I, I don't have know. no idea. Anyway, uh, so I was getting I was getting a little I was getting a little uh teed up. I don't teed, teed off. Teed up. I don't know. Teed Whatever. Up. What? That's little, golf. I was getting very salty, I know that much. I so, get that one. So mm. yes, I was I was getting very, very salty. Uh anyway, uh what was happening was that, and those guys that play arena a lot, which I do not uh, in Hearthstone, know that you get a variety of cards and you're supposed to select the best one. And basically it just comes down to picking the best value. You can't really, you, you don't have any confidence in building a particular style of deck. If something happens to work out, great. If not, you're screwed. And that was the problem with me is that I went through twice uh, through two different sets and I was 0 and 3 and out. So, because I just had no, there was no synergy. There was no chemistry. There was nothing going on in these, uh, in these arena decks that I felt like was worth hanging on to. And other people had things that actually worked for them. <laughs> and I'm like, just damn it, why else. are you doing that? So, uh, Chris Zierhut actually, uh, made this video. It was like, all right, here we go. Uh, Arena is going to be changing, and it looks like it's going to be changing for the better. 
Um, and uh, I don't know if you, uh, Gizmo, do you want to talk about this or do you want me to talk about it? Yeah, I can I can okay. kind of go through some of the All highlights right. here. And go it's been it. a while since I, I played Arena, but I remember I stopped playing Arena kind of for the similar uh, reasons that you were getting it's, a little irked here. It's tough because, I mean, you know, it's it's one of those things where they give you three cards that cost three different costs and they do wildly different things. And it's just like, OK, so now I got to pick between doing six damage or having a crappy one one. Yeah, you know, it's like uh yeah. So the changes they're they're going to be making for that yeah. is first, uh, each arena pick and draft is still going to feature the three cards, but they're going to be relatively uh, equal in power level, but different rarities. Uh, right. Picks 10, 20, and 30 will continue to have guaranteed rare quality card or better. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are reverting until 10.4, an increased chance to see cards from the most recent expansion. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's just to... Uh, I th fix I th some bugs I, or something that were. I I think it's just because the I I think they that um it, maybe it's too new and they do, they want people to understand exactly what's going on. So yeah, that can um, be and then they are also the new arena cards that were decided on at BlizzCon will also be added in right uh, in ten point four for and, a limited time. And these are only for arena. These are cards that are only mm -hmm. available for arena. So I'm guessing that they really don't want to confuse people. So let's just confuse them a little bit with some new cards, but, but it's just for arena. So that's, that's actually pretty neat. Um, so they're making it, uh, a better choice. Yeah. It say. should be easier to build a deck, at least have an idea of what direction you're going. Right. Um, and, this time around. So. And, and Chris also said, if you guys, uh, if you guys are in arena and this is for 10.4. So in 10.4, if you get a legendary pick, it's not going to be legendary, you know, legendaries at all different, uh, at all different, um, power levels. It's there. Even the legendaries are going to be the same power level or relatively close. So that's cool and for that i'm actually gonna say you know what this is a step in the right direction guys way to go i dig it i might actually play play arena more if that you were the should. case if that were the case yeah so. I, I i really haven't been into hearthstone lately at all i'm i'm excited for the tournaments coming out but i will say it does look like that team has been making a lot of good quality of life changes for all the players so yeah props to them getting ready for uh year of the raven all the all the mm -hmm. new stuff to come there so it'll be good it'll be good uh let's maybe talk a little bit of uh heroes of the storm turned up to 11 mm -hmm. uh gizmo this stuff i know you know because you have that lords of the storm show where you talk about heroes of the storm all the time um, yes. So what's happening with uh, with Heroes of the Storm? We talked about the Enforcer bundles. Right? Well, the yes. Enforcer skins. Now they're bundled, right? Yeah, you can get them in a bundle. Uh, I actually haven't checked today to see if you can uh, purchase them separately. I imagine okay. you can. Okay. Uh, but yeah, those, those bundles are out live now with the patch today. Um, and as well as Season 2 of 2018 has begun officially. Uh, and the rewards for this season, you still get your portrait, you can earn gold, uh, but the mount this season is going to be a pretty neat-looking Triceratops mount. Uh, looks the like, Zandalari so. trolls uh, have invaded Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. So, um, so who's dinos. like Triceratops? You know, I won't have to farm uh, for this Triceratops mount for who knows how many days and ever get it. I can just play, you know, 10... Team League placement matches, and then bam, I'll get it. There you go. So you should do that. Um, awesome. But yeah, it, it, it's, I think, a lot better than a lot uh, some of the previous mounts. We kind of got stuck on those crystal elemental animals for a while, which are cool, but, you know, got a little old. Um, and as I mentioned during the StarCraft stuff, yeah. potentially the next hero may be StarCraft. And this threw us off a little bit because last week we talked about on Lords of the Storm, uh, somebody had pulled from the PTR some data that had a picture of what seemed to be the Tristram Cathedral 
with all the books and candles, much like the intro of Diablo 3 yeah. with Deckard Cain. Yeah. Uh, but in the stained glass in the background, it was Dragonshire, uh, which looked like it had the Dragon Knight in the middle. On the left, it looked like uh, possibly Alex Straza. And then on the right, there was a boy with blonde hair, a crown, and a sword. So we were wondering, okay, is this going to be a Diablo hero? Possibly mm-hmm. Deckard Cain? Who knows? Or are they trying to fake us out? Let and, me you tell know, maybe you it'll a be... story. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know? <laughs> or maybe it would be Anduin, which a lot of people have been wanting. Uh, uh, but Anduin. now... Uh, Manduin? Yes. Would, this be Man- would this be Manduin or, or would this be Boy Anduin? I think that would be cooler almost. Have this little kid running around just firing off stuff. That'd be awesome. Yeah, just give us a little kid now, and then once Battle for Azeroth comes out, you can give us a man. Nobody would want to hurt him because he's so cute. That's one of I his would. that's one of his abilities. He's just so cute. It's like Lily, but everyone wants to hurt Lily because she's actually kind of scary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, so this is, you know, now now people are predicting the StarCraft to kind of which makes sense tying in with uh StarCraft 20th anniversary. Sure. Um, and we haven't had a StarCraft hero for a while. So you know, who knows? I I don't know. I think I'm leaning more towards the StarCraft with it lining up with the anniversary, but uh and maybe this is something for a future. Maybe this will be after the StarCraft hero. Sure. But uh, yeah, the content rollout has slowed comparatively to what it was uh, now well, that they're doing IKEA reworks and then release and they, and they talked and they talked about we yeah. talked about this actually. The, uh-huh. They're slowing it down a little bit and they're they're trying to make sure that everything is humming along in the background, but uh, this is slow it down a little bit. So, yeah. 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 That's that's cool. Um and you were talking about uh, Diablo. Which doctor? This doctor. Uh, and apparently, if you have a Switch, you may be seeing a Diablo coming to the Switch. Yeah! I'm kind of psyched about that. I don't have a Switch, but I know that uh, I know that uh, I have Diablo for my uh, the X Bone, the Xbox One. Um, mm-hmm. X- what? The X Bone. And <laughs> and so I have I have Diablo for that, and now uh, all those guys that have switches out there, you can get uh, you, maybe maybe it's not legit yet. It hasn't been announced yet, but it's like, come on, it makes total sense. Right? I've heard a lot of people saying that it's absolutely not going to happen, and that it's a stupid rumor. But then I've heard a lot of people saying that it absolutely is going to happen, and that it's the best rumor ever. It should happen. Yeah, and, it's. Well, and remember, we had a couple of weeks ago, we had, or a week or two ago, we had uh, Blizzard say that Hearthstone would not be coming to Switch. We act- That was an actual statement from Blizzard saying Hearthstone will not be coming to Switch. No way. Mm-hmm. So my guess is that somebody got, you know, word that they were working on something for Switch. And really, Diablo 3 is kind of lends itself it to make- that. It makes sense, and I think it would sure. be awesome. Yep. Um, yeah, I'd have to get like, I, yeah, like I, I mean, I, I bought it for PlayStation. I didn't play it very much just because if I'm going to be sitting down playing it, I like the mouse and keyboard better. Uh, but this would absolutely be amazing for like taking on an airplane. Uh, just on the go, Diablo sounds amazing to me. But I, I love the teaser here. And the whole thing that got this discussion started was a tweet from Blizzard Entertainment that says, Sweet Dreams, and it's a, a little video of a Diablo uh, nightlight mm-hmm. that somebody reaches over and switches off and switches on. Uh, yeah. So it took me a little while to get that. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Or maybe we're getting Diablo night lights. Yeah, we're I, getting I Diablo get, night cool. lights. Yeah, the nightlight itself is really cool. So <laughs> I would be happy with both or either, <laughs> but not neither. Do you do you have a switch? I no. do. Isn't right. it though? I saw him playing it at BlizzCon, like after BlizzCon. I was really thinking about getting one. Huh? I'm still thinking about getting one because um, number one, because of all the Mario stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan, uh, and then number two, because Rocket League is on there, and sure, I need another place to play Rocket League. Uh, and then, and now with Diablo three, I'm like, that could work. You I will say I don't use it as much uh, anymore. It's obviously not the new and shiny thing, uh-huh. but that's mostly because I'm not much of a console player. 
But I will say it's probably the best console I have purchased in 10 plus years. Ooh, oh. nice. Now, it, now it really only is great. could do anything uh, like other stuff other than video games as well. Like, like what? Video games first and then like watch movies or something. I think who I think Please? Hulu's on there now. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, I think I believe they oh. do have one service on there now, but no yeah. Netflix or anything yet. So, um, so you can't Netflix hey, and can, chill. Yeah, we can. Yeah, if you could like it's stream even... some videos off of online, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can go Netflix and chill at the park. It's got the little, you know, kick tripod stand in the back there. You can prop it up. John's there. Mm-hmm. John Horse. Yeah, you, you bring him to the park and he just holds it. Sits there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're going to have to like, so, chill with yeah. John at the park. Right. Yeah. You know what that means, don't you? Uh uh-uh. uh. No. What does that mean? You don't know what that means? I have no I'll idea. Tell you after. All right. All right. You tell me later. Uh, until then, uh, any other news for this week at all that you guys wanted to mention at all? Anything? Just found out that you don't know what Netflix and chill means. No, I mean, I know, what that, I, know I know what that means. But... <laughs> But I didn't with John. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so with that, I think we're gonna get out of here. Oh boy, this show just started off broken and it just never really recovered, did it? I'm just saying. <laughs> That's why nobody wants to come over and watch movies with you. All right, all right. For everybody. That and I have no friends. Oh. <laughs> Uh, All right, let's talk a little bit about what's going on uh, this week with us and how people can get a hold of us and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, Gizmo, we'll start with you. What do you got planned for Lords of the Storm? That's tomorrow night, right? Yes, it is tomorrow night. Uh, Tomorrow night, we will be talking the Western Clash, of course. Oh, uh, man, Western Clash. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I suggest everyone go back, watch some of the VODs, at least watch the finals. Right. Uh, it was incredible. North America looked much better than they have in the past. Uh, but check out, of course, Battle.net News as well. As Jules will be talking yeah. about it. Battle.net Sports, um, yep. Jules was all about it. And, and uh, yes, it was quite the quite the showing. So, it, so. it was really, really well done. Uh, but that'll be tomorrow night on twitch.tv slash Lords of the Storm. Yep. Uh, Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Central. You can find that show anywhere, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, at Lords of the Storm. You can find myself at all those places at Gizmozord. There we go. And Fist, what is going on with uh, with you and all the things you do? Um, well, my last episode of Lagging Balls uh, featured you as the co-host. Yes, and I was we there. had a great, well, I had a great time. I don't know if you had a good time. It was time. fun. I, I had a good time. I oh, good. It. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, so, yeah, if you guys like Pat Crane, which you obviously do because you're listening to him, you should listen to that show because he tells you all about some weird stuff that happened to him Yep. at a Canadian strip club back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. But uh, otherwise... Um, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> you're I'm not, not wrong. wrong. <laughs> not wrong. Um, weird you can stuff. find me at Fist03 on Twitter and all of my stuff at laggingballs.com. Right. Uh, and if you uh, would like to, don't forget, Minnesota Meetup this weekend. If you guys are interested, it's going to be in Roseville. Uh, and I'm sure that Jules uh, is going to be tweeting all about that stuff. Um, so follow her on Twitter and Facebooks and stuff like that. She's at Jules RPG on Twitter. Uh, and for me, I'm at Pat Crane. Uh, that's a crane with a K pretty much everywhere. And with that, we're going to get out of here. So if you would like to talk to us, and we encourage you to, for crying out loud, just come say hi. Uh, join in on the conversations we're having anytime. Make sure to join the Bazooba Gobba Nation by heading over to convertterade.com. That's where we have everything now. It used to be we just had a few things over there. Now we have everything over there. We've got all the show downloads, the videos, the audios, the the, uh, the guild stuff, the swag stuff, the podcast stuff. Because now we have the Convert to Raid Podcast Network over there. It has Lords of the Storm and Lagging Balls and all of the shows from uh, the players that join us regularly here on Battle.net News and Battle.net Sports, for that matter. Uh, so, there. And then you can hear my weird, weird stories. Yeah. They're, they're weird. All right. Convert to Raid is produced and distributed by Signals Media, and that's going to be it for the show. Thank you, Twitch chat for joining us uh thank you fist thank you gizmo and thank you wherever you are in the in the car uh, at your house in at work 
hopefully you're uh, jamming along to this uh, to this little bebop tune right here. Uh, thank you so much for picking us up. We really do appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Until then, everybody, for all the guys at Convert to Raid, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.